The search operation continues in Rajori. It's been on now for six days. General Pandey, the chief of the army staff, is on the ground, like you can see in those pictures, taking stock, getting direct briefings uh, from the ground commanders operating there. He interacted with troops. He's exhorted them to conduct their operations, like I said, in a professional manner. And this comes in the wake of uh, three civilians in the Poonch area being killed under mysterious circumstances. Sources also revealing that POK-based terror handlers Saifullah and Katal Sindhi, this according to the NIA, were the masterminds behind this particular ambush attack. Sources also added that the Rajori attack was carried out with the help of Poonch Rajori modules of the terrorist organization PAF, which is basically a front of the Jesh A. Mohammed. Remember, terrorists on Sunday also targeted a retired uh, senior superintendent of police in Baramulla, Jammu and Kashmir, and killed him while he was offering azan in a mosque. That's the officer you see here on your screen who was killed. While he was in worship inside a mosque, he was targeted and killed by cowards of the jaish e mohammed Meanwhile, the army has initiated a probe into the killing of those three civilians I just mentioned. A brigadier, a one-star officer in Poonch has been taken off duty and shifted. He's been attached to the uh, you know, to the formation until the inquiry is over. So this is disciplinary action being taken by the army in a very serious manner. Sources also reveal that the army has ordered similar disciplinary action against some other officers in that area. Sources also said that the army may shift some officers currently posted in Poonch Rajori as part of this disciplinary process. The police in Poonch has registered an FIR against unknown persons in the killing of those three civilians. A double standard game. सरकार को ऐसे नेताओं के खिलाफ उनकी पार्टियों को बैन करना होगा जो पहले और आज भी अंदर से उग्रवाद का समर्थन करने का प्रयास करना चाहते हैं। स्थिति ठीक इसलिए नहीं है कि आखिरी दौर के अंदर है, समाप्त हो गई है, लेकिन समाप्ति के अंदर भी कुछ ना कुछ चलता रहे और हमारे शहीदों को नुकसान लेकिन मैं फिर कहना चाहता हूं इस सारे विषय पर जो अंडरग्राउंड वर्कर हैं जो अंदर से पूरी सूचनाएं पाकिस्तान को देने का प्रयास करना चाहते हैं और उसमें ज्यादा म्यांमार के लोग हैं सुनील ब्रिंगिंग यू बैक इन ऑन द यू नो दिस दिस वेरी ट्रबलिंग डेथ ऑफ द थ्री सिविलियंस uh, you know, uh, the, where is the investigation currently? The army has taken action. A brigadier has been pulled off duty and attached. Disciplinary action is going to be taken against some other officers also involved. There were some very troubling viral videos that were doing the rounds, which we cannot, of course, verify, but they are everywhere right now. FIR has been lodged uh, by the police in Poonch. Where are investigations at at this time? Well, Shiv, there are two investigations being carried out in uh, in this entire episode. Mm. One investigation is being carried out by the Jammu and Kashmir police in Poonch. They have registered an FIR. A case of murder has been registered against unknown persons. But since this matter, you know, um, uh, involves the army personnel, so the army has also initiated a separate uh, inquiry, internal inquiry. And um, as soon as this inquiry began, the army has taken strict action. A brigadier level officer has been um, you know uh, attached yes. and uh, similar action is going to take place against other officers we were the first channel to break the story early this morning that the army was mulling action against uh, some officers yes uh, according to the army they feel that uh, that human rights violations can't be tolerated because army has maintained higher standards of professionalism while dealing with people while dealing uh, with uh, you know terrorists of course they have, yes. uh, while conducting a uh, you know anti terror operations with bravery and courage at the same time they have maintained higher standards of uh, you know uh, respect to human rights so this may be an aberration but army is taking strict view of this entire matter that is why it will not be tolerated the message from army is clear that they are not going to spare all those who may be involved in this uh, episode but this has uh, you know complicated matters for the army personnel because already they are facing a huge challenge they Absolutely. have to carry out counter terror operations in the most difficult terrain in Jammu and Kashmir and on the other hand, now army is facing allegations of human rights violations. So it's a very difficult situation for the armed forces and that is why they have taken prompt action.